In this next session, we're going to look at how we cut a snow bollard. A snow bollard gives us an option to either abseil off or as another option if the snowpack isn't deep enough for a buried axe. There's three sizes of snow bollard. The first one is make, drawing a template using your ice axe only. I'll make a bollard that size if it's very firm ice. My next size is for my elbow, like so. That size is suitable for the conditions we've got today, which is very firm neve. If it's really soft snow, then my final option Today, because we've got very firm neve, I'm going to go for my medium sized option and I'm going to cut into the neve starting from the bottom, working round to the top and the same on the other side. When I'm cutting, it's important that I cut in at an angle so that there's a wee bit of a mushroom lip so the rope doesn't ride over. Once I've cut out my bollard, when it comes to the depth, you'll probably find here that it's about 10, 15 centimeters. Depth isn't an important factor in making a snow bollard. It's about the size, size of my bollard. Because the strength of my snow bollard is not just about the snow that I've cut out here. It's also about the snow pack below my snow bollard. So in very soft snow conditions, you might find that actually I might stamp down the snow to firm it up before I then cut out my snow bollard. Once I've cut out my bollard, I'm then ready to put the rope around it. When I'm putting the rope around, I want to make sure that it's sitting behind the lip that I created when I cut out my snow bollard. I can then run the rope just to help it bed in. Something to highlight is the weak points on the snow bollard are the shoulders because the rope is trying to squeeze around the snow bollard. If I'm not happy with this, if it feels like it's a soft snow pack, then I can reinforce my shoulders either by putting an axe in, or I might even use the end of a walking pole just to stop the rope cutting into the bollard. If I'm going to use my snow bollard as a snow belay, then I need to cut out my snow bollard first from the base of my bollard, measure one and a half meters down, and from this point, dig my bucket seat and then tie into my snow bollard. Alternatively, if I'm gonna use it to abseil, I'm gonna attach myself onto it using whatever form of abseil device I choose, making sure that as I abseil away, I stay nice and low on my snow bollard and I don't stand up too early so risking lifting the rope off the snow bollard. And that's how we use a snow bollard.